This video has been made possible by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. What's up guys, so a few months ago, maybe even last year, a company, an organization called the Band of Climbers decided to try and find the hilliest 100 kilometer ride in the UK. The criteria for this is the route had to start and finish in the same location. You weren't allowed to ride the same hill twice and the route wasn't allowed to cross its path, like cross itself at any point in the ride. And as a result of all that, they came up with the hilliest 100 kilometer ride in the country. And that is what we're gonna be cycling today. It starts just outside of Sheffield. So driven here this morning. This is the route here. As you can see, it's just over 3000 meters of climbing in 100K. And the elevation graph just does not look fun at all. It is, I don't think there's a single flat road, which is absolutely insane. What's up everybody? Do you think you're gonna manage this, Chris? Yeah, it's my old stomping ground. I know these roads well. Yeah? Easy. Have you uh, have you ever done a ride as hilly as this before? Well, how, how, well the last time we rode was um, France. Yeah, but, but, but in France you had an electric bike and today you're not on your electric bike. But I've lost a couple of kilos since then, so I should be. Yeah. I should equate to the same power output, right? <laughs> no? Uh, if you say so. We've got a 60% chance of some rain today, so chances are it's gonna rain. So we've got the route on the Wahoo. We're right in the middle of Sheffield right now. We're basically gonna head out of Sheffield into the hills. Without further ado, let's get it. Oh, you're wearing gloves. Mate, you wore gloves Mate, in France. It's like 20 odd degrees. And now it's like 10 degrees and it's cold. You can tell he's not from Lancashire. This video is again sponsored by Squarespace. So many of you guys have been enjoying their services recently in creating your own websites. They have decided to continue supporting these videos. Squarespace offers an all-in-one solution for everything to do with creating a new website. Whether you wanna set up a blog post, an informational website for your business, or an online commerce shop, then Squarespace is the place to do it. You may have heard of my new venture, which I've started with a couple of my friends, Win Your Dream Bike. This website was actually created on Squarespace. It's got a really nice user interface so you can literally edit anything on your website. Through the website manager, you can set up multiple different contributors and give them all different permissions. And finally, if you create a website with Squarespace, you can set up email campaigns to further engage your audience and help grow your business. When you are ready to go live with your website or once you've purchased a domain, use code Cameron Jeffers at checkout and you'll get 10% off your purchase or you can just head to squarespace.com forward slash Cameron Jeffers. So we're literally about a minute into the ride and we're on the first hill out of Sheffield. I think this is gonna be the common theme to, for today. We're either going up or we're going down, that's it. Yeah, literally. And I've done 180 miles over the past two days, so my legs are not feeling too good right now, but we're gonna be positive and they're gonna, they're gonna loosen up and we're gonna be fine. So to give you a little bit more information about the route, it starts in Forward, just outside of Sheffield, and then it zigzags its way towards Boulderstone, which hosted a stage in the 2017 Tour of Yorkshire. It then continues north towards Stockbridge before zigzagging its way back down towards Hathersage, and then finally east back towards Sheffield. In total, there is about 17 different peaks on this ride, amassing to 3,120 meters of elevation gain, or as they say in this part of the world, flipping illa. So the route's deviated a little bit. We had to walk up some steps. It's like a cyclocross race. Come on, up, 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 up. Come on, Chris, come on, come on. Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> We've done 18.5K, <laughs> just over an hour of riding. We're out of Sheffield now. We're deep into the hills. And as you can see, in every direction, there is a hill. Screw you hills. The elevation graph is not looking too kind. We've done 800 meters so far of climbing and it doesn't even look like we've made a dent into the graph. So that's sick. Cold well hill, it's more like cold hell. Good one. <laughs> Mate, this is so steep. <laughs> oh my god. It still only says 16. This is more than 16. Oh, this is like 20. Yeah, 23. 23! Camera, do you hear that? 23%.
42k done and we've finally hit the first flat road of the ride. The issue that we're coming across is the hills here are so steep so the climbs and the descents you really can't hold any decent speed which makes our average speed so low and it means this ride is going to take so long. But how, how long do you think it's going to take us Chris? Well originally when I signed up to this you said it was going to take three hours. Yeah I told him three so he did come and because I never said any more than three you say no nah, it's too far so. Mate we're not even halfway and it's already three hours in. Nice. Two hours fifteen. Don't try and act cool to the camera. <laughs> that was in my eyes. It's posting on round it up. Look at this. Oh, that flat road didn't last for long. This is what I mean by steep. If I hold the camera directly straight, you can see how steep it is. It's like 25%. Mate, this is properly savage. So we're in the middle of nowhere now, like literally, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. If you look at the map, there's no other road around and it just says that the road's closed, so... Uh, I guess we're gonna just roll through, see if we can actually get through, because if we can't, we might be in a bit of trouble there. And it's starting to rain, so... We kind of don't want to be stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Is it, po is it possible? No worries, thank you very much. Your right hand side. Thank you very much. Jesus. Don't want to go down there. Shout out to that lovely Irish chappy that led us through. So I've just remembered we did a race here in 2018 and this was the finish hill. The finish line is just up there. And I was away in the break the whole race. There was like five of us I think in the break. And on the last lap of the climb, I attacked, got away and crossed the line first. How mad's that? We we're in the middle of nowhere, but it's a race circuit. Go on! Reenact the photo, arms up! Oh. Woo! <laughs> 71k update. The conditions are getting a little bit wet. Uh, it's also getting quite cold. Chris is trying to find his gloves to put them back on. Seven degrees. Is that what it is? Oh, Seven? Caffeine shot, mate. I need it, man. Come on. You want me to get through this ride with you? Yeah. Well then, zip it. Be at seven degrees right now. It's freezing cold. It's even going a little bit dark. Thankfully, Chris has got a light. We've got 20, 20 odd K to go. How's morale, Chris? Morale's all right. Because I know the route now. Yeah. I feel all right, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Should make it to the end pretty easy. Are we gonna need to have a stop for a can of Coke? Or are you gonna make it? No, we can, we can make it now. I've still got some tank plastic, so we're fine. We're going back up into the clouds. This is the highest elevation of the, today's ride. We're at about 500 meters right now. The key is to keep pedaling and you keep moving. Look at these poor sheep having to live here all year round. Mate, that is like proper foggy. You can barely even see the car parked on the side of the road. What is going on? But that's the top of that climb. We're gonna descend down the other side. Then we've got like one, two, three more peaks to climb up before making it back home. As you can see, we've done nearly 2,800 meters of climbing. Oh, you just dropped. Oh, out of my pocket. Yeah, you, you just dropped your damn fastics. Fantastics, fang, fantastics. Descent time, you can have them. So what makes this ride so hard is because the hills are so steep, there's a certain amount of power you need to do that is required just to get over the hill. It's all right for Chris because he's got a compact. <laughs> but I've got standard gears. And I reckon some of the hills, you're pushing like 400, 450 watts just to get over them. Yeah. But well, don't forget you've got like six kilos on me and you're a professional cyclist. But there's only one of us that's been to the Commonwealth Games, Chris, and it's not me. So after a bit of friendly bickering, we continue to meander our way through the Yorkshire countryside. Then after four hours and 58 wet, dark, cold minutes, 100 kilometers and over 3,000 meters of elevation climb, we made it back into Sheffield. All right, there it is. 
the official finish of the toughest 100k ride in the UK. Mate, good effort. We did it. It was alright that. No sweat. <laughs> Let's get to the finish first. Should we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> the hilliest and toughest 100 kilometer ride in the UK that's been checked off the list now thank you so much to Chris for joining me on this adventure you can check out his YouTube channel the links in the description below but if you're sat at home right now and you think that you know a hillier route than this one then feel free to make the route remember you have to start and finish in the same location you're not allowed to cross roads anytime and you're not allowed to do the same road twice if you can find a hillier route than the one that we did create it send it to me and you never know we might just come and do that as well but that's the end of this video and i'll see you in the next one